Hey everybody, it's Recotech248 here. Um, there was a suggestion on YouTube about the studio beta and some suggestions and ideas. So I am going to do that. I'm a little bright, so let me adjust my mic a little bit. Uh, so one of my suggestions is moving the end screens to like a, a spot that you want. And also, uh, I'll talk about another idea, which is replacing a video. But I am going to use the studio editor as my basis of this um, uh, explanation what I'm talking about so let's get right into the screen recording and uh, transition me into one of the corners <clears throat> so anyways uh, so here you are uh, I've got my my end screens here and within that you can do like up to four different tracks for that I, I think you can put like two video links I've got one one of my video links here and I have a subscribe button here um, one of the things I would love to see the new Studio Beta do is, um, this is the playhead here. I would love to drag, if I move the playhead back, okay, I would love to drag this over to where uh, this blank spot is. And that's what I set up this blank spot for, and I'll, I'll reduce this a little bit. Um, so I, I set this up as this transition goes through to uh, have the um, screen ends go through here. And uh, I don't like the auto configuration of doing it. I'd rather just turn around and say, hey, look, I want to move this whole group and I want to fit it right in here. So I want to do an, uh, um, an end point and a out point. Okay, and on a control on a on a keyboard, most editing programs is just simply you press I for an an endpoint and you press O for an out point. All the editing platforms I've used in the last several years uses those particular commands, um, other than iMovies and um, uh, Movie Maker and Windows. Therefore, that's what I would love to have the ability to do is just turn around, grab this whole group, and say, okay. I'm going to start right here at the transitions and then come over here and mark my out point and then that whole block would fit in that in that blank spot or if I want to do a micro slideshow I want to be able to place it in that micro slideshow so um, now my other idea uh, is to do a video replacement and what that will do is if you made like a graphics mistake and you uploaded it and you got let's say like a hundred views and a couple hundred likes or something like that and <clears throat> you don't want to delete the video you don't want to lose those views you don't want to lose those likes so uh in case of this video here i did do a graphic uh that it was developing a lot of momentum of views and likes but the bad news was there was an error in the graphic and I had to delete it to correct that graphic and so I lost all those views all those likes uh, when I'm I talked to, uh, to everybody that says yeah we email them, hey can you do a review uh, re like and stuff like that and they did and the unfortunately thing is now I have a, a blank spot in the playlist and it just messes everything up. That's why I would like to see a video replacement. And what that would do, let's go back to the screen shot, is it would map out, let me minimize this down a little bit more. Okay, yeah, let's go all the way. So what it would do is when you bring in the replacement video, okay, you were bringing it right above this track here, for example, and what you, it, what you would do is scan you would click on a scan button and then the the playhead will go through and scan all the frames all the way down to the end and then it will pop up a question mark where's the problem at you would simply just turn around pull the playhead and you would simply hit I for the end and then you would scroll over a little bit and then you hit the O that and you will mark that then it will re automatically rescan saying okay the video content is original other than this change do you want to make that change you click yes it makes that change 
you don't lose your your views you don't lose your likes and it still keeps the the original code and, and uh, wherever micro metadata uh, that YouTube uses that is my I my two major ideas I will love to see studio beta I, this platform looks pretty nice uh, I'm it's pretty simple um, it's a diamond in a rough as they always say um, you know I'm, I'm wasn't too happy about it at first, but now they've done a ton, a ton of improvements. And thank you, engineers, for your detail, hard work in the uh, simulators and making sure everything's working for us and stuff like that, creators. Now, my ideas, uh, I've got some couple ideas. One is called a um, thumb, um, a pin spot. So, like, your viewer says, hey, I'm... I'm watching your videos in UK they can turn around and click on an icon and put a flag what country they're watching your videos on so if you go into geographic mode you have this 3d um, earth and you can just scroll around and see who's watching your videos where and stuff like that that I would love to see in 3d plateau that was in classic I love that feature in classic it was plateau but uh, it was a great idea to see what countries are lighting up and watching my videos. So <clears throat> I know I'm a small channel, but it was really cool to see some of that um, go through. Another thing I would love to also see and a good idea to do is um, my subscribers. I have to use the escape hatch to Classy to see who has to subscribe because I want to be able to send... Uh, a personal, every so often, a personal thank you for watching my videos, and then just do a mass group uh, send out reply to all my viewers. Hey, thank you for watching my videos. Um, I appreciate that. Uh, please pass it forward and stuff like that, and let them know what's going on in the channel through email as well. So that's something that I would like to see as well. So, anyways. Um, I'll get out of here really quick and um, these are my suggestions and ideas for Studio Beta and I hope you all like this idea. I hope you all also share this through your channel as well and um, a link to it I should say and you know maybe we can get some really cool stuff. So anyways I'm Spragatech 248 you're on the Spragatech 248 YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.